Hello there, you may call me Miss Introvert, and today we have a brand new entry of the Imposter series. If you haven't watched the last two videos yet, here is a link to the playlist. I basically just tell you guys a story of a time that I felt like an imposter, and hopefully you guys can relate. Maybe you don't relate, that would be awesome for you. And then we just remember that we're all less alone as we share each other's stories and Maybe I'll give a bit of advice and then ask myself if I'm qualified to give it because I feel like an imposter. Before we begin, make sure that you like this video and subscribe. And hopefully this video really encourages you and gives you some more motivation to write. I know it's very hard to come by sometimes. So let's get started. So another college story, because it's usually in college where I feel like most like an imposter. I was sitting in my novel writing class and I'm usually the quietest person, so you probably won't hear anything from me. I feel like an imposter right now talking to you. Funny, right? But my name is Miss Introvert, so what can you do? Anyway, I'm sitting there listening to all of these people who have read all of these classic books, many of which I should have read in school or picked up at the library because I'm a scholarly English student, well-versed in the classics and all the classic authors. But there were just so many of them that I hadn't read yet. Many of them people had read in grade school where I should have read them in grade school, but didn't because we had some sort of curriculum that didn't always include them. And instead had still well-known books, but like not as well-known as these books. And that's okay, I think. I don't know. I've started reading whatever I want now, which has been helpful, especially in the summer with more time. But like back in the fall semester, I felt left out of the conversation so many times. I could be blaming all the curriculums I had, but mostly I blamed myself for this. I wished I could have taken the time to actually read those books or see whatever movies these people were talking about. Sometimes I think about switching my major to filmmaking or script writing because of the movies that I've seen more of. And then I remember that college costs money and getting into the business is really hard and I'm already a senior and I'm gonna stick to English and writing. English and writing is already a pretty broad range in terms of majors and jobs and stuff. So it's fine, I think. But after all those classes, I just remind myself that it's never too late to read whatever you wanna read and write whatever you wanna write because during the classes, I always felt like students and teachers could see right through me and know that I hadn't read certain books yet or that I wasn't cut out for this kind of writing, novel writing that is, or whatever class I was in. But it was really me who was making myself feel like this. I just needed to give myself time and patience to learn because that's what college is for, learning. Any college students watching this and are perfectionists like me and feel weird that they're still learning in college don't feel weird. You're supposed to be learning. It's okay to learn. You'll be learning for the rest of your life. You'll eventually get good at things, but that won't happen if you don't let yourself learn. It was during the instances that I really just lost myself in new things that I was learning like philosophical ideologies and different histories that I either didn't know or hadn't been educated on or forgot. I felt like Jo from Little Women when she is listening to the conversations of all these intellectual men during her time in New York after being in a very closed off imaginary, literary and imaginary, but closed off family life. And I can really relate to Alcott's description of feeling like a young balloon out on a holiday whenever I listened to the lectures and just got lost in brand new things to learn. So it's really okay to keep learning and it's exciting to learn. And what better way to start picking up the books you hadn't read than in college when you can probably understand them a bit more than when you read them as a kid. Although it is helpful to have read them as a kid. If you have, yay, awesome, great. Honestly, me not picking up those books sooner was what was keeping me from learning on my own. So don't be afraid to start learning on your own. Researching can be really fun, actually. I should make a video on research. Am I qualified to do that? I don't know. Sorry. So yeah, give yourself time to learn. And if you've got some spare time, open a book you wish you'd read sooner. And once you finish it, write about it. 
talk about it to somebody to prove your, to yourself that you're a functioning intellectual enlightened human being not to others but to yourself sometimes i have imposter syndrome about being a human because i'm a vampire probably can't tell when i'm being serious and when i'm not i honestly can't either how the freak do i end this video okay bottom bottom line is you are a writer so pick up a book and give yourself time to read it you are awesome you are not an imposter so just keep working on you and don't worry about what anyone else is saying because it might they might just be going through the same stuff you are. Maybe they feel like an imposter. Who knows? But they're definitely not. If they think they are, they're crazy. I'm sorry, but they are. Jeez. I mean, look at the books they read. Good lord. So yeah, that's all for today. This is our last imposter series video because it's already mid-July and I don't... Is it already mid-July? By the time this comes out, it'll probably be almost August. It's like the end of July. Wow. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to another episode and I hope you liked it and stay basic. Stay